That's the back door view looking out. Paranagat Valley. It's upper Paranagat Lake down there. I'm just about ready to hit the road. I'm gonna load my solar panels. Get everything cleaned up outside. Nice sunny day. We're in uh, we're almost December 1st. I think it's going to be about 60 today. I'm going to head down, I think, maybe Whitney Pockets, just northeast of Vegas, about 100 miles south. All right, going to load the panels and get on the road. generator running and last little charge I'm having problems with my batteries the truck starting so I had to charge the battery I've got a power draw somewhere I got to figure out I don't know why the batteries are pulling down all right I'll get on the road leaving my boondocking spot the desert range wildlife refuge up above Paranagat Valley. That's up for Paranagat Lake down below. Take a run back through there on the way out. Take a quick look at the campground. Okay, now I'm going back into the Paranagat wildlife area so there's two wildlife refuges right next to each other all right there's the camping areas on the left right on the lake Doesn't look like anybody's camped on the end of the lake there that's a nice spot but you're right next to the highway though so you're gonna hear all kinds of traffic and noise a lot of trucks on this highway. Take that one right back there. So those are all the camping spots right there down to the left. I'll take a drive through there. Okay, this is the turn off. Oh, a semi behind me. And there's a dumpster that's always good to see. I can get rid of my garbage. Wahoo. Okay, this is the Paranagat Valley Campground area. This is Refuge, National Wildlife Refuge, and it's free. Uh, I think the sign said you're allowed to uh, camp 14 days. 14 days in a 28 day period. for wildlife register at information area so there's the camp host camp host site I wonder if they've got water 15 minute parking welcome to the valley of living water and there's a bathroom there vault toilet I don't I think they have, I'm pretty sure they don't have water in here. I didn't see any. They probably have water there at the Campo site though. Okay, this is a start I think of the camping spots. Coming up, there's a fifth wheel right there. Collecting of firewood is prohibited, no swimming. Suckers. Okay, that's site one. There's a fifth wheel there. That's not too bad a spot. And then these on the right, there's a little loop road. Those are sites two and three. There's two people tent camping there. Two big 
big spots. There's a lot of nice dead trees. There's another loop spot right there. There's a fifth wheel. That's a double sight, so that's site three and four, one RV or two cars. So that wouldn't be a bad spot. If you nab that, it's off of the road, so you'd be away from the dust. Although there's not much dust in here now that we got the rain the other day. There's site five, two cars only, so that's a tent area. Could probably slip a class B in there, maybe. Don't get too upset. Okay, there's site six, one RV or two cars. That's a, a van parked there. Okay, there's site seven, one RV or two cars, and then you're right next to somebody. Tent camping in there, that's site eight. Here from Washington, Subaru Outback. And there's another vault toilet down here. That was the spot I was gonna camp at. That was open last week. Here's the other loop road. Doesn't look like anybody's in there. Let me take a drive through that. That looks like a good spot. It'll be off the road. This is site nine. Two cars only. No RV. Maximum eight people. So this is just a tent spot. That sucks. No RV. This would be a nice spot. Okay, and this is site 10, two cars only, no RV, maximum eight people. So these are two, both tent spots. So those tent people parked in the RV spot, so yeah, this would be a nice RV spot here. It's supposed to be a tent spot, site 11, two cars only, no RV. Sure, why they don't want an RV there. There's plenty of room. And there's a highway right there, so you're only like 200 feet away from the highway, so you're going to get all kinds of noise. It's up above you. There's good cell in here. Okay, let me run down to the far end spot, get turned around, and get out of here. There's three spots on the end of the lake. Those are nice areas there, but you didn't. If you had it all to yourself, it'd be fine, but there's three spots right together. You'd have neighbors. There were a bunch of tent campers in here last week, so two spots were open, but I didn't want to be parking next to a bunch of people. There's a little bench right there. It's probably going to be crummy video. I'm driving right into the sun. Okay, these are the last of the spots. There's three spots next to each other. Take a loop around. Site 12, one RV or two cars. Site 13 and Site 14. So they're all RV spots, just pull-in spots, but they're all like sandwiched in between each other. Okay, that looks like the dam area. And there's another vault toilet right there. Okay. 
Okay, we'll take a look at those. Okay, there's site 12 on the right, site 13, and site 14. This wouldn't be too bad if you had them all to yourself. All right, I cleaned up on some firewood. This is a big firewood dump spa where they dumped a bunch of, must have had a big, big huge tree fall across the road and they cut it up into chunks and dumped it over the bank. Spotted that and grabbed a whole bunch of nice firewood. Wahoo. Gotta take advantage of that down here. There's not tons and tons of firewood readily available like that. That'll make some nice, a couple nice campfires. Two or three. We'll load up. Tied some to, to the front of my cargo rack. Some big long branches. Big pieces I can cut up with my chainsaw. So that was awesome. I tried to split it with my maul. There were some big, huge rounds, but it wouldn't split. It's rock hard wood. I'm not sure what these trees are. Some kind of cottonwood, maybe? I don't know. Oh, looks like the valley's closing up. Looks like they must have had water in here at one time. There's Okay, this is 15. Glendale. This is kind of a goofy intersection. I don't think they've got diesel. Okay, this is 15. Good, diesel 297.9, so that's not too bad. Regular gas Arriving at stagecoach depot nine. on left. All right, now we'll go propane 279. So we sell propane. That's good. They got water in here, and that would be awesome. Oh, that's awesome. They got a water spigot with a big long hose. So I was able to fill up on water. Actually, it looks like a big area you could probably pull in and camp for the night down there. All right, let's get out of here. Back on 15 and we'll find the Wally World. Yeah, propane there. I should be good on propane. Just filled up at Tonopah. Okay, let's see how we get back on to 15 South. Okay, how do we get back north? Driving the gauntlet. way down again or about 10 miles from Mesquite. There's a turn off to Whitney Pocket. There's some pockets right over there. So. Okay. Let's see. Where can we park? The... Oh, darn it. I should have pulled in right there. I don't know if there's a pull through right here. Okay. Looks like there is.
Get out of the road there, Dove. All right, get back on the road and head into Whitney Pockets. It's quarter after three, so I'm gonna be rolling in there right at dark. All right, go, people. Oh, dropping down onto the river. This is the Virgin River. It's got water in it. I came through here three years ago is when they got all the flooding. In September, this whole area really flooded four miles. Bad. Turn sharply right on Goldview Road. Okie dokie, Lola. There's a dirt road there. That's really a virgin river. Turn sharply right on Goldview Road. Okie dokie, Lola. Big horse trailer. Oh, back to some nice smooth road for about 200 feet, and then bam, you're getting the bad spots again. And back to smooth road, and then back to bad road. Well, it looks like they kind of repair the road as little patches. Got a picture of the Gold Butte Monument sign. Guess we're in the Gold Butte area now. Gonna get up to Whitney Pockets for 2,500 feet. Let's see, one bar of LTE. semi-decent spot about a quarter mile down the road off to the left got a couple little bumpy spots to go through but need about three four bars of 4g i was getting lte for a few minutes and a nice sunset Okay, there's my sunset view. Getting parked. 